My name is Mike, this is Boyan. Uh, we're the co-founders of Glissa. Um, we're committing the cardinal sin of Don't Pitch Me Bro by having some slides. Um, we have a reason. That reason is that, that our product uh, live shares slides with audience devices. So if any of you have downloaded the app in advance um, from either the App Store or Google Play, the code for the event today is three bids, and that will allow you to follow our slides. Um, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to push uh, PowerPoint or Keynote slides out to audience devices live in the room. We're in effect slaving your devices so that you can follow along. Now in small events, that might not be necessary, but when you start scaling events and people are sitting at the back and they're kind of looking at their phones anyway, the principle is that actually, why not engage them through that device? You've got something which is about 20 years old, PowerPoint, really hasn't changed, but corporates just love it. They just use it every single day. And everyone's got devices in their pockets, and we've managed to work out a way of pushing that content out to their devices. Once we're doing that, we can also layer on a bunch of social features, so we start socializing presentations. So just a quick demo here. This is the first slide. This is a regular PowerPoint slide. And I've got some views along the bottom here where you can see I've got three likes already. So one of the things we allow you to do is like slides. Um, now, I can, if you can ask me a question through the app, and I can just pop out the question view here, and you can see the various questions that have been asked by, by Boyan earlier in the day. You can upvote questions. That's layered over the top of the PowerPoint slides. So actually, I don't need to have a second screen uh, with a projector showing all of the questions and another one for my PowerPoint slides. It's all combined into one single app. Um, I can also have a Twitter wall. So previously, I have put in the Don't Pitch Me Bro hashtag. That's already pulling through a feed of all of the Twitter that you've had tonight. I know other people have had it popping down through their own iPads. But you've, in effect, replaced the Twitter wall, layered on top of the PowerPoint. This view here is a demo view so that I can show you um, exactly what a presenter can see. We have an option of swapping it so the presenter can see this information, but the audience can't, so that you can actually run a regular PowerPoint with the presenter receiving questions, likes, tweets, comments throughout the presentation. Um, if anyone is slaving their device and has logged in, I can just push through uh, key things we're offering, presentation, distribution, um, audience interaction, and then the data. So all of the information that we gather from all of the interaction can be given to the presenter or to the event organizers so that they can use that data to either improve the presentation or, um, or, or take it away and, and understand their audience better. We can incorporate polling. So this is a poll that I've dropped in between two PowerPoint slides. So anyone voting here uh, can quickly take a view on that and I can flick that across. 100% clean shaven, that's great for me. Um, <laughs> both top and bottom clean shaven today. Um, but as more votes come in, that's live updating. That's dropped in between the PowerPoint slides. I can push on and I'm back into PowerPoint. So there's no technology, I'm just on the iPad plugged in here. Um, where are we? We've got uh, iPad presenter version. We're, we have an iPad app, iPhone app, Android app. We're, we're about three months in and we realized quickly that although we thought by the time we built this thing, people would be presenting from iPads and it would just be normal, actually the corporate world still loves their laptops. So we're about two weeks away from a laptop presenter version. The other problem we've identified is that um, audiences, particularly in this situation, don't have time to download the app and get in. So we've built a web browser version as well. You simply browse to a unique code and that code will be able to start uh, slaving your device over the web browser. But if I'm, if I'm not presenting, I can actually edit the presentation in advance. This is firing up the editor. Um, and you can see the slides are all on the bottom, a normal slide sorter. I can switch on the like button, switch that off, switch it on and off for individual slides. I can switch on questions, comments, tweets, and I can set the hashtag for the event and that will drag through all of the all of the tweets from outside the app, within, within the app. Um, as an attendee, you can also uh, tweet from within the app. You associate your Twitter account, and it automatically appends the hashtag for the event to your tweet. You can also tweet the slides. So I still see people sitting in audiences taking photos of screens. That's great. With this, you can actually, actually tweet the slides. Final thing to show you is how we add the uh, polling. Here's two slides here. I simply drag and drop, it squeezes them apart, and that allows me to enter my multiple choice question here. That's my question, this is my answers. 
I can move these around, save that, and exit. And that's, I've just added that poll to my PowerPoint presentation straight away. Just from an audience benefits perspective, what would be great and would, would be really important, it was a simple user process, but would be able to note on the slides as they were talking. So having some feature where you could either write underneath the slide or next to the slide, but also I love to draw. If anyone gives me a printed set of slides, by the end of the, by the, end of the presentation, I've doodled ev notes okay. all over. We, we may be able to help you there. Wonderful. I'm just going to go into a slide deck. This is me going in as an audience member. Um, just a single slide from an event we did last week. That's my pen. That's me scribbling on it. That's me changing colours. That's me writing a note on it and moving that note around. That's all Perfect. personal to you. And that, is that something that um, you can save or export after to Evernote or something um, like that? It's saved at the moment in the device. In the next app release, we're going to allow you to export that as a PowerPoint file or a image file, PDF file, with or without your scribbles on top. So that's the feature. Thank you very much. Thank that's you. all we've got time for. Big round of applause.